I'm supporting my community in a way that I never ever thought I would do that. As soon as somebody walks through the door with a blue uniform on, they're more comfortable with their situation. I think the biggest thing is reassurance that somebody's there and somebody's looking after you until the ambulance gets there. When we arrive, generally it's a familiar face and it puts them at ease almost immediately. I've had a couple of close calls. So without the CERT team, I don't think me and my partner would have held it together. Well, and we are very, very privileged to, to serve the people of our community. It's such an honour to do that. It actually feels quite empowering. The children just over at the school this morning were coming up to me and sort of saying, I know you, you look like the childcare teacher. And I would take my hat off and say, yeah, that's because I am, so. <laughs> So Ambulance Victoria has two types of first responders, our Community Emergency Response Teams known as CERT and our Ambulance Community Officers. Our Community Emergency Response Teams are uh, volunteers within Ambulance uh, that work in small communities. Basically what we do is get to an emergency before the ambulance. So um, CERT teams are based in areas where the ambulance is a little too far. So ideally we might be there reassuring, providing pain relief, perhaps even saving someone's life before the ambulance can get there. So we're on call 24-7 in theory, so we carry pages, much the same as the CFA and SES. But as soon as the ambulance arrives, we hand over to the paramedics. Our ACO model are casual employees, uh, so they're not paid to be on call, but they uh, respond to any um, 000 event with the added ability of being able to transport the patient to hospital or to meet with a paramedic group. The majority of jobs would be heart conditions, farm accidents, road accidents, yeah we do get the snake bites as well, a lot of breathing difficulties. You are not bored ever in this, in this role, ever. <laughs> to become an ACO I think you just need some compassion, empathy, wanting to give back to your community. Being able to help someone in their time of need where they can't help themselves has really pushed me to sign up. The team that you're part of, we are a hugely diverse group. You get, you get all walks of life um, and you all work together. CERT volunteers, um, we've all got a life outside of ambulance obviously because um, and most of us are still in the paid workforce. So I'm the business manager here at Meredith Primary School and I'm also a CERT team member so that means sometimes I get called out while I'm at work. The kids here often see me in my uniform and have a lot of questions about the emergency services and where I've been. My first call out was to a lady named Glennis. Um, she'd been bitten by an ant and had an anaphylactic reaction. So I was just um, down the paddock, as you do. I found this amazing, weird sort of a black ant and it bit me. Everything swelled up. I thought, oh my goodness, my lips were double the size, my gums, my tongue, and then I couldn't talk. So our primary role is for the jobs that really matter with the high acuity. Somebody that's got anaphylaxis and needs that adrenaline shot, those are the things where it makes a real difference if somebody's there in five minutes, not in 15 minutes. Well, actually, they saved my life. This role scares a lot of people, which is why they may not think, oh, I couldn't do that. But the training provides pretty much every scenario that you might come across. You've got the support of your crew. You're never going to be thrown in a situation where you feel like out of your depth. You're always going to have an extra person there. You've got the help of the clinician over the phone. Like you're always going to have that extra little bit of support no matter what kind of situation that you get thrown in. We also do community activities, teaching about DFib. We go to the school and help teach the children about CPR and hopefully save a life. Really the best part of Ambulance is being able to work with the, with the ACOs and CERTs. They have real passion for what they do. Um, some of them local community members that just want to help their community. Some are paramedic students that want to uh, build on their um, skills and experience when they go into further on their careers. I still get a buzz when the, uh, when the pager goes off. It's um, no two jobs are ever the same. In a small community, volunteering is even more important, I think. I can't see me leaving it, to be honest with you. So I'll be here till they kick me out, I reckon. <laughs> Just, just do it, really, yeah. It, it is quite rewarding, um, I, I really enjoy it. You need these people, you need them. I would never have thought a tiny little bite would do what it's done. So yeah, I'm so happy that they're around.